Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Bobby, aka Pigeonator, and I'm here with a mail time unboxing. So, um, I was gonna maybe, like, not upload, like, an, a third video this week, but then I thought, to heck with it. This stuff came in the way mail. I wanna film it and upload it this week, so bonus content for you guys, I guess? So at the mail, I had some books I had pre-ordered before I went on my book buying ban, so you don't have to yell at me. I'm, I'm still being good. Um, I have an item from Accio, which I'm not sure what it is. Um, maybe something that got left out of a box, maybe? Don't know. And then I have the unplugged book box for the month of June. So let's start with the items that I know what they are. These are, like I said, pre-orders. This one I ordered through bookshop.org, um, which is... Uh, a great resource if you want to support local bookstores, but maybe yours doesn't have the one book you're looking for. You can go on there and they will find the book that you're looking for, for um, and supply it from a local bookstore so that you can support them rather than like a big chain. Not that I have anything against Barnes & Noble. I freaking love that place. Alright, so what I got from them was This Poison Heart by Kaylin Barron. Ugh. I can't even tell you how much I loved her first book, Cinderella is Dead. It was, ooh, like, I don't do the chef's kiss thing, but I would for that book. It was so fantastic. And so I was just like, oh, auto buy author purchase. Let's pre-order that book. And here it is. I feel like I'm going to pass out from the heat. It is so hot in my house. I have no AC and I can't turn the fan on while I'm filming because it's noisy. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. We're having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave. Whew, I did not move to Wyoming to live through this kind of heat. I'm just saying. So I started to read the dust jacket to you and my camera died. But we're plugged in, ready to go again. And I took an opportunity to go grab my water out of the fridge. I have this fruit infuser bottle and it, this has been um, infusing with raspberry and lime for a full day now. I've obviously drink some of it already but ooh, ah! I'm really hoping that this can help me drink more water and less soda because problems but anyway back to the book this poison heart Brises I'm not sure how to say her name b-r-i-s-e-i-s Brises has a gift with a single touch she can grow plants from tiny seeds to rich blooms when Brice's aunt dies and wills her a dilapidated estate in rural New York, Bree and her parents hope that, surrounded by plants and flowers, she will finally learn to control her gift. But their new home is sinister in ways they never expected. It comes with a mysterious set of instructions, a walled garden filled with deadliest botanicals in the world, and generations of secrets. There is more to Bree's sudden inheritance than she could have imagined, and she's determined to uncover it. From the best-selling author of Cinderella's Dead comes an enchanted story about a young woman with the power to conquer the dark forces descending around her. Um, yes please. Sign me up please. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, so my second package is from Book Depository and it's nothing any really exciting at all. It's a textbook for one of my college classes, so nothing to get too excited about. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the package from Accio. I forgot I ordered some things from their website. Of course I did. Ugh. I'm an idiot. Okay. So the first one is a tea towel. And I'm very excited about it. It says Madame Puttyfoot's Tea and Cakes. I wanted this to go on my Harry Potter bookshelf that I have in my living room. And I need to like reorganize my Harry Potter collection and like re-situate things where I want them to be. Maybe that'll be a project that I can do this weekend. We shall see. And then we also have two enamel pins and these are really fun. Um, the first one is a ticket to the Yule Ball. It says admit to 25th December 1994. That's so pretty. I love Yule Ball stuff. I don't know why. Like, the Yule Ball was one event in one of the books of Harry Potter, but, like, 
they just make such fun things for it. I mean, that pin's beautiful. It kind of looks almost like it could belong in the world of Frozen, you know, like something that Elsa would create because it's all glittery and snowy and stuff. It's cute. Now, if you know who my favorite Harry Potter character is, um, and many of you do, you will know why I chose this next one. <laughs> this one has some textbooks and Fogging the Future and Tessomancy, some teacups, and a quote, you're going to suffer, but you're going to be happy about it. <laughs> this is from when... Ron was reading Harry's tea leaves, and he was, like, interpreting what he saw in the teacup, and he said, you're going to suffer, but you're going to be happy about it. <laughs> and now we're down to the big package, which is the Unplugged Book Box. I decided to try this for the months of June and, Ju or July and, yeah, June and July. July and August. <laughs> Two months, anyway. <laughs> I'm trying this box. Technically, is that a book purchase? Yes. Do I care? No. Let's just open it. And here we go. What do I see? Something with the paw print on it. This is the July box, so I'm getting July and August. Think, girl, think. The theme is villainous, which is what made me purchase. Villains or, like, dark things, like... It's very much my jam. Halloween's my favorite holiday. October's my birthday month. Like, it's just me. Even though I'm wearing this bright yellow shirt today, it's Chudley Cannons in support of Ron. Okay. Setting this aside, and we'll open the first item, which is very large. All right. So it has kind of a funny smell. I think it's just like new out of the package kind of smell, but it's a very large tote and it says, fight because you don't know how to die quietly. Win because you don't know how to lose. That's kind of fun. The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovic. Not one I'm familiar with, but I like the bag. It's very handy. Um, if I read that book, I can find out whether I appreciate the quote or not, but, um, because I really like to see quotes in the context that they're written before. I'm like, yes, I love it so much. So we'll kind of see it. Like I said, it kind of has this weird, funny smell, but I really think it's just like the new thing. Once it gets used a little bit, it'll be fine. Maybe I'll wash it. So this bag was designed by at Abby Malaga Art for this box. All right, up next we have something in a little like plastic pouch and it looks like some kind of roller. Okay, so it says Amora. Natural, pure, honest, unplugged book box, Amora, citrus, sea salt, violet, mermaid, magic, perfume roller. Oh my goodness, you guys, can you see that? Okay, so my camera sucks at focusing when it's close up, but there are seashells in the perfume roller. How fun is that? That's fun. Let's smell it and see. Hmm. It's kind of a light smell, like kind of breezy, like easy breezy, lovely, um, sea kind of smell. I like it. I was just thinking today about whether I needed to buy some more perfume because especially in the summer when I get super sweaty. Well, actually all year round, I want to smell nice, but it's more difficult when you have no AC and your house is really hot and you feel like you stink all the time. Ugh. All right, so this weather card says this is um, Amora from Adeline Grace's All the Stars and Teeth. That's It, it has inspired the perfume roller. Um, and she is the villain of that book. She can master souls. Um, she has dark villainous powers, I guess. I don't know if she's actually the villain. Have I read that book? I don't know. I have read that book, but it's been such a long time. I don't remember. I'm gonna have to reread it before I read the sequel. 
It also says this is the first in a new seasonal collectible from Unplugged. Each season for the next year, we will introduce a new scent of the season. Enjoy your summer set by P Natural Pure Honest. That's fun. Okay, what is in here? Can't see in the plastic. Oh, it's like a set of silicone molds for like skulls. says the bone witch ice mold so you can pour water in and you place this inside to shape the ice cubes like skulls that would be kind of fun I should make some of those and like have it them in a drink when my grandma's around she get we get such good reactions out of her for, from things like if she saw little skulls floating in a glass of something she'd be like what is that she's hilarious all right, this says, The Bone Witch by Rin Chipeko tells the tale of a girl with powers that some might consider villainous. She can resurrect the dead. This silicone mold can be used to make ice that's subtly inspired by the Bone Witch. They are an unplugged exclusive. Okay, so it says, Unplugged book box, Astra Inclinant said, Non Obligant, Eye Cream Solid Stick. What do you use eye cream solid stick for? says these violent delights eye balm um by ready limited is an unplugged exclusive it's a, uh inspired by these violent delights by chloe gong it's a story of true villains and those with inner villains that must face off in 1926 shanghai that book is fantastic i read it not that long ago which is why it's ringing a bell in my head perhaps i read too many books is that such a thing i doubt it okay another item in a bottle Ooh, it's green and shiny and sparkly. All right, look at this. We've got swirly green glittery stuffs. And it says Petricor Ink Unplugged Exclusive The Empress Blood Oranges and Darkness Vitamin A, C, and E Hand and Body Lotion with Aloe and Shea. <laughs> Force of a Thousand Lanterns Lotion. Um, this book is an evil queen reimagining um, Zhifeng is meant to become the empress, but in order to do so, she must embrace all her villainous traits. This exclusive lotion was made by Petricor Inc. at Petricor Inc. for this box. Fun. It's really pretty. Like, now I want to smell it because I want to know what blood oranges and darkness smells like. Let's take off the oop. Some little some lotion popped out while I was taking off the that's okay we'll just smear it in here I don't know where this funny weird voice is coming from mm. that is really citrusy and if the lotion itself feels really nice which is good I do have some skin allergies and so I have to be careful with these kind of products because um, some products will make me break out in hives but this is not so I'm pleased with that shut up we have a Lunar Chronicles inspired item that's really cool oh my goodness having said that it's probably not something I'm gonna use as meant because well you'll know why Lunar Chronicles hair ties oh it does say slash bracelet so I can use these as bracelets but we have cinder scarlet crest and winter and they can all be smushed together to make a picture of the moon and on the back it says even in the future a story begins with once upon a time how fun i have no hair to put in a hair tie but i can wear these as bracelets or i can just leave them like this like display them on my shelf if i want to i don't know exactly this weather card lets us know that these were designed by at lie underscore brary for this box. We have a little pouch here that says Lola's costume scissors. <laughs> oh, Lola, like Lola and the boy next door? Okay. Why can't I get into this pouch? I need scissors to get into the pouch and there are scissors in there. That's what you call ironic. Alright, 
can't seem to get this. Oh, we're going to make it. Oh, that's fun. And it's always good to have like an extra little pair of scissors sitting around or any pair of scissors because for some reason scissors go missing. I don't know why or how they do, but they do. Da, 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 da. If you're not familiar with that book, um, Lolo wants to be a fashion designer. So scissors are something that she definitely needs. Um, and it said these scissors are an unplugged exclusive. Why is it so hot in my house? All right, up next we have a card that says, Journal prompts for healing quiet your inner villain. Oh, that's fun. There are things that you can write about yourself um, to just kind of help calm your mind. I feel like myself when I need more. Something I'd love to do, but I'm not sure I can is. Five things I'm grateful for today. And then there's some tips about overcoming self-doubt. This is something I should keep handy. We have a Dear Reader letter, which we'll hold on to for a minute, and a signed book plate. And we are now down to the book. It is packaged, which is nice, so that you don't see it and get spoiled. Although, I did accidentally see the name of it on the contents card, so whatever. We have Darling by Kay Ancrum. I think this is something to do with P Peter Pan. Not all lost boys should be saved. Yeah, it's got to be Peter Pan. Um, let's see what the Dear Reader letter says. Dear Reader, Unplugged Book Box and I would love to introduce you to Darling. In a year chock full of gorgeous Peter Pan ad adaptions. Do you mean adaptations? Adaptions? Darling is the contemporary thriller that fans of Peter Pan need to round out their collection. Darling is my oldest book idea, and I plotted it when I was a young adult myself at 19. I built this world out of adoration for the original book Peter and Wendy, 1911, and have done my very best to preserve its magic. Darling is a chapter-by-chapter -chapter adaptation that lifts all of the characters and relationships we know and love and places them in the city of Chicago modern day. Oh, I love Chicago. With a Peter... As mysterious and dangerous as they come, Tinkerbell, Spunky, and Bright, Lost Boys devoted to family and adventure, and Windy Far out of her depth, this romp through the dark city streets will leave you reeling. I would like to thank Unplugged Book Box for delivering this to your hands, and I hope you enjoy Darling by Kayla. From Kayla. Interested? I do love a good retelling, and Peter Pan, mm, love it. Love it. And as we saw, we do have a signed book plate, so I can stick that in there as well. I like when they theme the book plates. I mean, I know that it takes extra time and extra supplies and stuff to make the custom book plates specific to each box, but it's the little things like that that make you appreciate the work that goes into these boxes even more. And last but not least, we have the theme for next month, and this is the one that really got me, and then I happened to see this villainous one as well. The August box is going to be themed, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Their adult box will be Come As You Are. In the YA box, it will feature a usable item inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's Tales. Ooh, yay, love me some Poe. And the adult fiction box will feature a two-part item inspired by Friends. I'll be there for you. Do I want to buy that box? No, you don't. Save your money. Cool. Well, I'm quite pleased with this box. I, 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 um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And let me know in the comments what you've been up to, any fun plans or exciting things. I, 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 what am I doing that's fun? Ooh, I'm going to a concert. I'm going to a concert. And I haven't been one to one in years, so this is exciting. So anyway, have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.